In this Learning Byte for Windows Small Business Server 2011 Standard, we'll take a look at the health monitoring and reporting capabilities of SBS. In the SBS console, there are a number of different places where we can see the health status of the server environment. On the home page, we have the Network Essentials Summary, which gives us a high-level green health check look at the different aspects of our server's health, including the security, updates, backup, and other alert status. Here we would see, in addition to the green health checks letting us know that everything is okay, any warnings that would show up in yellow or critical alerts that would show up in red, letting us know that we need to take some action before any of the uh, users are impacted. The next place we can find health status is looking at the network tab. Here we can see a slightly more detailed view, breaking down all of the different servers and client computers in the environment. And again, we get the same type of green check health letting us know that the security status, update status, and other alerts are either okay or need some type of attention. If we select an individual PC, then we can drill down into any problems that may exist. On the security tab, we can also see a little bit more detail on different security aspects of the environment. And again, that same green health check lets us know if everything is okay or it needs attention. So those are some of the ways we can get a quick snapshot of the overall health of our server environment, but we can also drill into the different reports. When SBS is set up, there are a couple of different default reports that are created for you. A summary report that's generated on a daily basis, as well as a more detailed network report that's generated automatically on a weekly basis. You can, of course, add your own reports as desired. Let's go ahead and take a look at the properties for the summary report. There are several tasks that we have available once we have selected an individual report, including viewing its properties, generating it, generating it and then sending it to the email recipients that are defined for it, and viewing the archives so we can see the history for this particular report. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the report properties for this summary report. So as we can see, this is broken into several subtabs. On the general tab, we simply have the name and a brief description. As you create your own reports, you can create names and descriptions that are appropriate for the report content. Let's go ahead and take a look at the content options. At the top, we have a summary of all the different areas, which is the only content section that's included in the summary report, but also the security, updates, backup, other alerts, email usage, and server event logs areas can be added to the report. And as you create your own report, you can select one or multiple content sections as appropriate for your needs. Next, we have email options for the report. You can choose whether or not this report is emailed as it's generated, and you can also choose which internal SBS network users should receive the report and specify any external users, such as Microsoft partners who may be helping maintain and manage the environment. Next is the report schedule. Reports can be run on a daily or weekly basis, and of course you can determine which time of day the report runs. And finally, we have the report archives. Here we can see the dates on which this report was run and view the reports as desired. And because the reports are simple HTML files, they can of course be printed or saved as desired. So that's a quick look at health monitoring and reporting capabilities in SBS 2011. Thank you for joining me for this Learning Byte video, and I hope to see you for future sessions.